All right, guys. So, yeah, um, when, when was it? Yesterday, we got a video. Um, Bandai dropped a video on YouTube um, of the new Dragon Ball Z game. For now, it's titled The Dragon Ball Game Project Z. Um, I don't think this is the real name that we're going to get. I think this is a working title. It seems obvious that it is a working title. Or if not, that's a long-ass name. And it's sort of kind of unattractive. So hopefully they make it a little more clear when they announce the actual title. Um, but I want to get into what I think this game is. Um, my kind of um, takeaway from this trailer. And, and um, some speculation of, of, of what this exactly what this is. So let's get into it. There's no gameplay yet, but we're going we're gonna to see. So it's all a cinematic trailer story. It looks interesting as hell. Let's dive into this. All right. So 2016, we got Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. 2018, they delivered with Dragon Ball Fighters. This year, Dragon. I like the OG Dragon Ball Z logo. I like that a lot. The Dragon Ball Game Project Z action RPG. It's a mouthful. So you see Young Goku, Young Gohan. For the ultimate fight. Oh shit! We see Goku squaring up with Piccolo off jump. See this fight right here. The Goku and Piccolo ain't bumped like this since the old days. Like they're they're bumping. They're going at it. They're not training. That ain't no training right there. That's 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 keep that's fight or die. That was like some some late Dragon Ball. It's like Goku learning. It's like Goku learning Spirit Bomb. Kyle Ken times three against Vegeta. So already we've seen some late Dragon Ball, early Dragon Ball Z stuff. It's Freeza Saga. Vegeta crying out, reaching out to Goku. Krillin's death. And oh. Goku doing a spirit bomb. But he wasn't on Namek. I'm going to talk about that in a second. He wasn't on Namek. This is the story of Goku. The one they call Kakarot. That looks amazing. That looks gorgeous, man. Graphics are on point. I wonder how open world this game gonna be. Is it gonna be flying? I have so many questions. So that's all we got for the that's all we got for the trailer. It's kind of vague. It just lets it didn't even really have any gameplay. It's all cinematic. The only gameplay you saw probably is Goku walking around. We see it slated for 2019. Hopefully there's no delays on that end. So I'm gonna talk about a little bit what I think this game is. I'm gonna go come off the bat and say I so heartily think that this game. Is some kind of remake, remaster, or reboot of the Legacy of Goku series that we got back on the Game Boys. I really do think that. I'm a firm believer of that. Can't convince me any otherwise unless Bandai says it's so. Um, but from what it's looking like, an action RPG game chronicling the tales of Goku, mainly. Um, what else is that? That's, that's, that's literally what Legacy of Goku was. And like I said, I highly doubt they're going to continue with this name. If they do, that's a long-ass name. It's kind of ugly. Could you imagine saying that? Like, yeah, bro, I'm getting in. Like, you know, nah. You probably It's probably going to change it. I don't know if it's going to be. Who knows? In the perfect world, they might come back and say, hey, this is just Dragon Ball Legacy of Goku. I doubt it. They're probably going to change the name a little bit. But no doubt this is some form of taking that concept, that idea, porting it over or not even porting it, remaking it. And, and reimagining it on modern day PS4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch consoles with modern day mechanics and everything. That this is that you can't you can't argue with me otherwise. This is literally that idea here. So from what I've seen to support that, I mean, from what this trailer looks like, unless they show me more story wise and stuff, this instantly goes from this goes from this shows me late Dragon Ball, and I say that because that Goku versus Piccolo fight. Looked a little, it looked a little more than sparring. It looked like a little, like somebody had a chip on their shoulder. They were really fighting. They were really fighting. I haven't seen Goku and Piccolo fight that way since late Dragon Ball. So, this looks like late Dragon Ball. I definitely saw some Saiyan Saga stuff in there. Um, and we definitely saw some Namek Saga stuff. 
I think this game will cover those three sagas. If not the whole, and I'm not saying it's going to cover the whole Dragon Ball saga, maybe late Dragon Ball. Around the time when Goku kind of became an adult for the first time and he had Gohan, I think it's going to cover late Dragon Ball stuff. Um, then it's going to, of course, transition on to late. Now, that could be just a cinematic. That fight between Piccolo and Goku could just be a tale of, of, of him coming up. Like, and then it's, you actually start in Z and just continue from there. Who knows? But I really like to have that fight. I really like for them to cover some of the in-game stuff. If not, though, honestly, in a perfect world, I want I want to see the whole Dragon Ball arc. I would love that. But I, I doubt they're going to do that. They only showed an adult Goku. So they might just, like I said, start off with the late Dragon Ball stuff. Maybe that last little tournament fight or whatever between Goku and Piccolo. And then move on, transition to Z. Because it's still called Dragon Ball Game. Project Z, so it might transition on into Z, and but it's definitely probably gonna stop at the Frieza arc. The Frieza arc is probably gonna be the end, sort of similar to Legacy of Goku when Goku, was, you know, he was uh, trying to figure out a way out of Planet Namek, and he was charging him some power, and the planet was exploding around him. I believe it's gonna stop there, and that leaves that leaves room for further games, maybe a part two, a sequel. Of course, they're gonna do it to cover the Cell arc, the Boo arc, and maybe some Super since that's canon now. Who knows? A few other things I noticed in there was um, it was it was a scene where Goku was charging Spear Bomb. That's not that's that's not on Namek. That's on Earth. And what makes that kind of weird to me is because Goku never did a Spear Bomb that big on Earth. Never. Um, he attempted. I think I don't even think so. I don't think he attempted. That was he only did a Spear Bomb that big on Namek and the Supreme Kai's world. That was the only two places. Um, other than that, that's, that's kind of weird. Maybe that's maybe maybe you get to alter the story. I don't know. I don't know at this point, but I pointed that I, I saw that, so I'm gonna point that out. That's kind of weird. He never did a spear bomb that big on Earth. Um, so we'll we'll see what that turns out to be. I honestly I hope they, they incorporate some of the movies, even though they aren't canon. I would love to see Broly. Oh, that would be that'd be awesome. Broly cooler, Turles. I would love to see all of those because all of those movies. Well, Broly doesn't take place. Broly would have to be. And the next one, because that would kind of take place more so in between the time of the Cell games and those 10 days. So, maybe not Broly, but I would love to see Turles, um, Lord Slug, that one scene when Goku was like in Rays, he was he had his shirt ripped off and he looked like he was going Super Saiyan. That, that might be false Super Saiyan. Um, that form that he, that he used temporarily, I mean, that may be that. Because I don't, I don't, that is definitely not a Namek scene. When Goku was Super Saiyan on Namek. Um, he, he still had his, his his undershirt on, so maybe that's that. Or it could be the scene where he's he's powering up. He thinks he's gonna die playing them exploding. He got that quick thought to, to use one of the demon ships. Who knows? We don't know yet. There's so much stuff to be covered, so much stuff to work around. Um, I just wanted to get my 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 perspective on this and discuss it with you guys. I really think this is gonna be a remaster of the Legacy of Goku series or some type of reboot to get that series back in the modern day. I think that's a great idea. I love the idea of an action RPG following Goku. I loved the um, Legacy of Goku series growing up. I had all of them on my Game Boys. Loved it. I have no problems with this. I just hope that Bandai execute this correctly. If there's going to be multiplayer in this game, I have no problem with like a, a tournament style multiplayer. Like um, similar to, it was one Dragon Ball game, a Dragon Ball Advanced Adventure or something like that for the Game Boy. And it had like you know a little a little multiplayer mode where you could fight in like a tournament like the world tournament setting or different stages or whatever. I don't mind that. I actually would want that, but because it's hard to imagine a Dragon Ball game without any type of multiplayer. But it has to be done right. Now whether they're gonna do versus type multiplayer, or you can go online and fight and stuff. That'd be cool. But it has to be done right, and I don't I do not want it to take away from the central core RPG elements of this game of the story. If if it if it has to take away from that in any form, then scrap it. Don't even think about it, because it's it's because it, it's gonna be crappy either way. So don't even think about it. I would rather them focus on the story RPG elements. Maybe have co op in there, like like a certain time when Goku did team up with other people to fight main opponents like Raditz. He teamed up with Piccolo. Um, maybe you can. Um, that's all I can think of. Uh, maybe Vegeta. I don't. I don't know. When you fought Vegeta, maybe you can incorporate find a way to incorporate Krillin and 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 and, and Gohan in it. I don't know. But I, that those are two main options of multiplayer right there. And I would live with either one of those if they were done correctly. If not, let this be a straight solo experience. Put all your resources, all your effort, all your development into that solo experience to make it the greatest solo experience ever. 
If you if, if you can't do it right, don't do it at all. That's what I'm thinking. So for the multiplayer aspect, I would love it, but I would I would rather not have it if it's going to take away from either either aspect of the game. So I'm really hopeful for this game. I really hope Bandai does a good job. We haven't had a core RPG game that follows Goku's story since since the legacy of Goku. I mean, Xenoverse wasn't following his story specifically. It was following the whole story. But we haven't had a core RPG game that followed him and through his path specifically. I mean, think about how cool this is. We're going to be on Snake Way Road, hopefully. We're going to be training on King Kai's planet. We're going to be on Planet Namek flying around, hopefully. Like, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope this is going to be a really good game, Bandai. Don't let me down. Don't let us down. We've been waiting for this kind of game for a while. I didn't even, but honestly, I didn't even know that I wanted this. Until I saw it, I'm like, bro, this is dope. Like, this is it. Like, you know? So, hopefully we get delivered on a good Dragon Ball Z game. Finally, one that's worthy. Because, I mean, Xenoverse 1 and 2 were good. Fighters is good, but... It's, 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 it's not that game that we've been itching for, you know, since like the Budokai Tenkaichi days. It's not that. So hopefully this is it. Um, this is all I got, unfortunately, for right now, information-wise on this video. It's more speculation than anything. Hopefully it drops some gameplay soon or some more information soon on what this game exactly will be. But I'm standing by that until I get proved up, um, wrong. This is some sort of remaster, remake, reimagining of the Dragon Ball Legacy of Goku. So, um, of the Dragon Ball Legacy of Goku series. So, don't be too surprised if you see that later on. I called it. Um, until my next video on this topic, guys. You guys coming through. Appreciate you guys listening to me. Let me know what you guys think about this game down below. I'm very interested to see what you guys think. Are you hopeful for it? Do you think it'll come through? Do you think it has anything to do with Legacy of Goku? Is it, you know, do you agree with me on that topic? Let me know what you guys think down below. When I get some more information, I'll be sure to do another video on it if it's worth the while talking about. So until the next video, guys, I'll see you later. Peace out.